Back. 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 Good. There. Easy, easy. Yay! That was good. Very nice. Wait. Wait. Okay, follow me. Ah, 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 ah. I didn't tell you to go over there. This way. Good. Wait. Wait. Very nice. Now, easy. Easy. Ah! See how I'm controlling with just this finger right here? Easy. 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 Ah! Easy. Ah! Good. Easy. Ah! Good. Okay, let's go. Good. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Let's talk about what just happened there. Is that a high energy dog? Yes. So when you can get a high energy dog like that to calm down and you can control the speed of that dog and what it's doing with your body language, it knows what you want. But if you take a dog like that and you just pull it around, you're not gonna be able to train that dog. Nice. Yeah, that's great. Wow. Good job, Susan. She's guiding the dog to the object. This one's, you see a little bit more. Yay! Look at that! your palm position. Back. Good. Good. Okay, so the next shape that we're doing is an L. When we back away from our judge and we step away from our line. Very nice. See that? That was very smooth the way she did that right there. Good job. Come in. There you go. Good. Come back. Beautiful. Palm forward. Here, 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 here. Good. Palm. In. Beautiful. Good job. That was awesome. Great. Signal turn. Gorgeous right there. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so if I have a dog that's going to act like this, I would put him on the table, take the. See, he needs a leader really bad. And he's asking for it. Right, he is. So he's testing the heck out of me. Yes. See, that's not bad. That's not bad. You have a treat? Yeah. Oh, that's good. There you go. See? That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Oh, that's good. Surprised he took that. I know. That's good. Fantastic. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, that's good. That's good. Very nice. Good job. Okay, now come back. Come back. 
Okay. What I want you to do is not hide your hand. When you took off, yeah. your hand was back here. Okay. I want him to see the hand. Okay. Because this is where your communication comes from. Now he wants space. He yes, he does. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to take my pinky and put the handle on my pinky. Let go. I'm going to let it come up my hand and then down my hand like this. When I gate him, I'll walk backwards, I'll turn and go. No eye contact. Forgot me. Good, good. This way. Very nice. Wait. Very good. Let's go. Wait. Look at that. One hand. Let's go. Good. Wait. Oh, you're so good. Let's go. Let's go to mom. Good. Did you guys see that with one hand right there? Would it, he have been able to do that if my hand was back here where he could not see? So turn and face me and walk backwards and go. All the way to the end. Bend at the knee and take a longer stride. That's better. Much better. Much better. Good job. Okay, put your leashes up here. Okay. Yours is faster, so you'll go in front. There you go. You'll be right behind. Okay, get your dogs according to your speed, your breed type. You go. Wow, <laughs> you're watering your Newfoundland. <laughs> he likes water. <laughs> Very nice. Is that the last dog? Reminder to the competitors, if you do win um, in your division, as soon as we're done clearing the ring, we do ask that you report to Ren's booth and his loveliest of lovely. And this is automatically going to give you the proper angle of that shoulder. Because all this stuff is going to come out. People don't know what to do with this down here. We're going to take this here. And we're going to trim in. with this leg and look at how it changed that front right there and you look at that side and what I want to create from my hock joint all the way up this leg is a straight line is that some of your shorter coated breeds you can see in the back they have these calyx I call these donuts right here yeah, so you can come in with your tools and you can take just the tips of these right here and you can clean these calyx up so they look more, Healthy. <laughs> yeah, showable. Get rid of that right there. Brush this down. What you're gonna see here is I just pulled a little bit of hair, but you'll notice the difference between this side and this side when you look at it. Wow. So look at this side and look at that side. Which one looks more, more natural? That one yeah. looks good. Yeah. Which tool is that? This is the big metal stone. The big metal stone. <laughs> Bench work first. You're hiding your lead hand. Gotcha. 
Oh. Yes. Good. Good rumble. Now your next workshop, you drove how many hours? Well, it was, I think, 13 hours to England. He has an excellent attitude in the ring, but I really need to be the leader and to explain to him that I'm in charge. We train nearly every day since end of July and I changed completely the handling of him because every time when he did something that I didn't want, I said head straight and I did the head straight with him and well, he, he kept his attitude because he's still the well, the, he loves to work and he's, he's a great boy, and, um, but I needed more discipline because otherwise he would just go off. He, he loved to kick off in England. When I said heel and wanted to go with him, he just decided now it's time to run. And I just needed him to be focused on me, on my hand signals, so I worked nearly every day on that. On the head straight, on the hand signals, on getting him to finally accept me and to to accept that we are doing what I would like to do. After Germany, you had a private lesson. Tell me a little bit about that and how that was different. Well, it was a completely different experience. We did a lot of detail work, focusing on the standard actually, and we practiced Sony back. We practice the hand stack and details of the hand stack because this is, well, not my best thing when I handle my dog. And uh, so you, well, you found my weak spot, <laughs> let's call it like that. Yeah. And you worked with me on that. And that was completely different than any other training that I had so far because really going through the standard and understanding what is necessary on this specific dog and why this specific dog meets the standard so well to, ex to, to be able to explain it to others to Sonny this is not according to the standard <laughs> as we're starting to read our standards we need to read the standard and be able to ask and answer the question why why is this coat like this? Why is this tail like that? What part did the or country of origin and the original job take part in creating this dog? You know, what dogs are in this dog that has evolved this into what it's, this, its job today? So I, I do have one little question. Uh -huh. I think, is that why, because they are a water dog, like the emphasis on the pad, it's, it's a thick pad or it's a firm, thick pad, I think is what the standard says. You don't, you, you don't read the word horny on there right? Um, because they were a water dog. Right. Well, you know, you, you've got, to, not only is it just a water dog, but you also have what kind of ground do you have coming in and out of the water? Rocky. Well, you, Rocky. Yeah. Okay. But the American Cocker Spaniel, what kind of ground are they going to be working on? Grass. Grass. So they have to have the horny pads to be able to have that traction ah, right so there. Ah. Right. So now if you had an Ameri American Cocker doing the job of a lab, you're going to blow your pads mm -hmm. because you're going to have all that traction on those rocks. And it wasn't built for that. It was built to be working in grass. So, but if they were, if they were say, on a boat, I'm trying to I'm trying to visualize this. So I'm having a little bit. I'm a little stuck right here. Mm -hmm. The lab is on if they're wet and on a boat. That's a pretty slick surface. That's a slick surface, but you still can get traction with those hard pads right there, okay. as long as it's not smooth like the, what the American Cocker is today. Yeah. You know, you're you're going to get traction. You're going to get durability. You're going you you have the ultimate dog for that job out there. You've got the web feet. You've got the coat. Oh, yeah. You got everything for that dog to work in the most terrible surroundings. So it was a complete different experience and I, well, I feel more confident now talking about my dog, about the breed, it's really, it's really great. And then today when you were in that group, what was going through your mind and what are some of the things that really helped you in that group? Well, when I was in England at the workshop and we did the best in show in the end, I kind of, I don't know the English expression, it's uh, when you don't really believe that you finally will win. 
And you told me that until the last second you have to try everything because until then you are still in the game. So when the judge told who the first, uh, the, the fourth place is, and the third place, and the second place, you have to keep your attitude and your. Kleine Schleife. Herzlichen Glückwunsch. Drück dir die down. Dankeschön. So you really have to keep the attitude and the will to win, and you have to do everything that you can to finally win the group. And just that went just through my mind, and I said, we are going to be. So tell me how you feel. Amazing! <laughs> Let me see it down and back to that tree and back. Not you saw a huge lead. Okay. One of the things that this dog is doing is it's exhibiting pressure tension. Because okay. when you're gating, you're gating like this. Yeah. The dog's, you're looking at the dog, so the dog is gating yes, away from you. And on the way back, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want you to do is I want you to stand up straight, look forward, have your hand out here, and gate your hand to the tree, and then your hand back to me. Okay. Forget about the dog. Drop your hand down. Beautiful. Drop your hand down. I don't want to ever see the lead straight. You can bump the, oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> see, that was so much better right there. So if anytime you feel that that lead is straight, okay. you're going to have a problem with drop it. it yeah. yeah, drop your hand down and if she lags a little bit, you can bump her over a little, okay. but keep that hand down like this. Yep. All right, do it one more time. Beautiful. That was really straight. Good. Good, 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 good. Very nice. Yeah. Good. Let's see you stack. That's right. Ooh, much nicer. Good job. Well, I've got to say that this group has come a long way. That looks very nice. Nice. Not bad. Okay, everybody do head straight. Head straight. Whoa. Ooh, look at that neck. Oh my gosh, and that smile. Release and praise. Release! Yes. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. I actually would like the audio of your, your whole day. And oh. <laughs> day oh. Day oh. They like come and they want to go home. Come, nice Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. They like come and they want to go home. <laughs> come.